Welcome everyone to today's Imperium Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a look at the Gur Falcon. Today's design is the Gur Falcon, or perhaps Jura Falcon, and it is an unlock level 20 size class 1 capital vessel by creator Jetset UK. So while the Gur Falcon has an unlock level 20, it's a much smaller size capital vessel and manages to pack a lot of functionality into its smaller size. The Gur Falcon only has one way in and out of the design, and that is through the back hangar bay. I have not been able to find any switch that ties into the hangar bay door, but to the left of the doorway as you come in, there is a switch that will activate the ramp. The switch that is directly ahead of you when you come in is the switch to turn on and off the repair bay module. Now along the left wall we have a repair station, an armor locker, and an O2 station as well as an elevator leading up. Coming up to the walkway you will find your repair console as well as some oxygen tanks and fuel tanks to your left which match the design for the oxygen and fuel tanks on the other side of the hangar bay. Now there is one thing you want to be cautious about when you're standing here on the walkway dealing with the repair console. As you can see right now my temperature level is not a problem, however if I turn the thrusters on the temperature shoots way up, so make sure if you're going to be working along this walkway you turn your thrusters off. Continuing up the elevator we come into the main bridge area which is the only other section of the ship. Now this is your main area of the ship. You will find four of your medical scanners up here so you can cover your different ailments. You have a shower, a toilet, your clone chamber, a medic station. You also have your gravity generator, one advanced constructor, a single fridge, a cargo box, an ammo box, and a food processor. There is also the inclusion of a bench in the corner so if you need to quickly recover stamina, you have something for that. There are several switches also in this room. The one with an H is for the lights in the hangar. The one with the C is for the lights in the cockpit. The one mounted just below the pilot seat also controls the hangar bay ramps. Now the two switches for controlling the ramps are set up in an X or circuit. That means that if either one gets flipped it will control the ramp. So if you have the switch in the hangar turned on to extend the ramp and then flip the switch in the cockpit to turn it on, it will instead retract the ramps. Now you'll notice the second circuit here is also an X or circuit for the repair bay, but the first part is zero instead of anything special. I think this is meant to be the other switch for the repair bay from the cockpit side, and unfortunately did not get saved that way or something happened when I spawned it in to cause it to not save correctly. So you might need to check these when you spawn this in in your own game and make sure these are set up right. So once again this is the Gur Falcon and it is an unlock level 20 size class 1 capital vessel. Keeping with the small size it only carries 6 fuel tanks for a total capacity of 36,000 fuel. With the thrusters turned off and the lights turned down though I do have 150 hours of use so it's very fuel efficient. Even turning on the thrusters with the vessel parked just sitting here I still have over 50 hours of usage. It also comes with a total of 9 oxygen tanks for 18,000 O2 but only needs 800 A6 to fill it up. That is supplied by one ventilator making it very easy to keep this filled and of course you have the one oxygen station so most of that 18,000 O2 will go to keeping your suit filled from the O2 station. And of course it has the one medic station and one clone chamber in the main bridge area. For attack and defense, it has a simple set of retractable weapons featuring three minigun turrets, five cannon turrets, and three rocket turrets, as well as two sentry guns along the back of the ship to protect the entryway into the hangar. As I showed, it only has the one cargo box and one ammo box along with one fridge, one food processor, and one advanced constructor. Now resource wise, this has a lot of combat steel in it, so you will need a good bit of sathium and iron. Now for an unlock level 20 player perhaps looking to use this as their first capital vessel, I think the neodymium, cobalt, arrestrum, and zyskosium values will be much more problematic. This will require you to do some exploring and harvesting in the orbit around your planet and perhaps in the orbit around neighboring planets, or by simply harvesting pieces of points of interest on your planet 
such as the crashed capital vessels and taking some of their thrusters and things such as that that are very high value in these resources. Now overall, I really like the ship. It has a good amount of functionality in a very small compact size. It also has good acceleration and good left to right turning. However, the rotational speed leaves a little bit to be desired. I definitely do not see this as being a PvP type ship. This is much more of a single player or on a server with friends. And based around the resource requirements and the unlock level, if you are someone playing in single player and you're like me, by that point of the game, you tend to want to look at more vessels to be able to carry with you rather than just having room for maybe one good vessel. So this is not a ship I would see myself using in the game, but if you are a person that likes to play with something a little bit more compact, you don't like having to roam around a lot in your capital vessel, you want everything close together, then this could be right up your alley. So once again, this is the Gear Falcon by Jet Set UK. And if you would like to try it out in your own game, I will have a link in the description below. If you do try it out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment for Jet Set on the workshop page. Also, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.